Welcome all you guitar nerds out there. Today on the bench we have this Vox AC30 amp model C2. The owner complains about crackling noise, hiss and hum, so we'll take care of that. And later in this video uh, we'll show you how to cool down the bias on these amps. The Vox amps are known as very British amps. Um, the Beatles play them, and Brian May, uh, the guitar player from the group Queen, plays AC30s. So in this case, it's not a tube amp. We have to call them valves because they are from England. But Oops, this valve amp is not from England, it's from China. Who cares? Okay, let's open it up and see what we find inside. Alright, here we have a PCB board, which I don't like. A lot of electronic stuff like uh, transistors, operation amps, ICs. Alright, and here are the tubes, oh, I'm sorry, the valves, four EL84s and three ECC83s, also known as 12 AX7s, and finally two nice selection speakers, greenbacks. Okay, let's switch it on and see what the problem is. Yep, here we go. Listen to that. Oh, yeah, really noisy. Crackling. Might be the tube sockets. Might be the tubes. That's something that we have to find out. Well, the problem is playing to here. Preamp tubes are okay. Oh, I'm sorry, the preamp valves are okay. So let's get these tubes out and put them on the tube tester. Uh, I'm sorry, the valve tester. Well, here's another problem that showed up after the uh, amp heated up. One of the valves is red plating. Well, actually these uh, amps are notorious for eating tubes because they are biased very hard. But there's still a possibility that the problem is uh, caused by the tube sockets. Um, these Chinese tube sockets are not the highest quality, so I'm going to touch them up with fresh solder. Okay, as I mentioned before, now it's time for my trusty old tube tester, in this case, valve tester. Well, here's one of the power tubes, and as you can see here, it's, yeah, crispy grilled. It was very hot and here it's on the tube tester and you can hear the crackling noise when I move it in the socket so it's definitely a tube problem well it's not the strongest tube either 
So we're going to change them out. But it's always a good idea to cool down the bias while you're in the amp doing your job. Because these amps run so hot like hell and that kills the tubes uh, after a while. And as you know, tubes and valves are getting expensive and rare nowadays. So I'll show you in a minute how to cool down the bias on these amps. Here's the schematic and you see R119 is the bias resistor on the cathode of the power tubes. And we're going to increase the um, value of this uh, resistor to cool down the bias. Well, the next step is to find this resistor on the board. Uh, yeah, and you find it next to the rectifier uh, circuit, um, shown here. R119 is behind the PCB board, so you cannot see it. You just can touch it when you stick your finger behind the board. And these are the two solder connections that keep the resistor in place. Yeah, with uh, a solder sucker and some patience, I finally ripped it out and replaced it with this. Uh, 82 ohm resistor to cool down the bias. All right, look at this beautiful new tubes. I'm sorry, valves in place, and the amp is quiet as can be. By the way, the amp is fully cranked while I'm testing the tubes and the sockets for noise. So you can hear some hiss of course, but as I mentioned, the amp is fully cranked. Here's the new BIOS resistor, not hiding behind the board anymore. Well, now it's time for a sound check. Let's see how this jewel sounds like. sounds pretty good. The amp is dead quiet and it's time to say farewell to this valve amp from England. Oh no, it's from China. But who cares? Thanks for watching and see you the next time. Bye.